Hello, so today we're going to be having a go at making tomato puree tube art. Um, so what will you need? You will need um, a tomato puree tube, um, squeeze it all out to make some fantastic recipe with, and then you want to cut the top, cut the bottom, and cut up the side. When you open it up, obviously it's got tomato puree in it, just clean it off. So basically you end up with that, and then, I know it's gold inside. <laughs> Hopefully you're getting as excited about the inside of a tomato puree tube as I am. So the other thing you need is a spoon and an old pen, a pen that hasn't got any ink in it. So just we're just going to be using the nib or something similar and scissors. And that's it, that's all you need. I'll show you one that I've done prior and that's a little owl um, out of a tomato, look. See, tomato puree tube bar, it's amazing. <laughs> and what we're going to do now is flatten um, the tube, okay? So you're gonna do that with the back of a spoon and you're literally just going to do circles, okay? Let's get all those ripples that you can see as much out as possible. So we've got our lovely flat piece. So now you've got to think about what you're going to design to cut out. So I've done some little tiny pieces. There's a little bird, a little a rabbit, things that are quite nice, uh, shells, um, things in the sea. Don't forget if you're doing points, they are quite sharp. It's a little fish and um, the large one that I showed you before. So that's taking up most of the area that you've got because you've obviously only got a certain amount of size with the puree okay so have a think about what you're going to do and then we're going to start so you're going to have to do it on the opposite side so you're going to turn it over and obviously think about how that's going to happen so you want to, if you're thinking about it that way when it goes the opposite side it's the other way round okay so I'm going to make a lion's head. Now, when you press, this is going to be your indentation. I'm going to okay. show you. Can you see the raised piece? So you're going to press down to start making your design. I'll show you what I've done so far. What do you mean that's a lion, Emma? No, honestly, bear, bear with me, bear with me. <laughs> so if you want these two, the lines on this side to pop up even more, because you've got no ink in your pen, you're going to press on either side of your line and then that will make the line that you've done pop up even more. And the more little lines that you make, the more effective the piece will be. Okay, so I'm just going to finish off his mane. Okay, and voila, there is my lion head. So now all I need to do is cut the area out. And then you can obviously add your pieces to actual pictures, to cards, um, little talisman in the office or where you work or whatever. Um, on the wall, whatever you want to do. Or you could add bits to him, so this little lion has got a little body, which is just like a little shape cut out, stuck on the back, or they can go on pieces, or you can make a painting out of it, whatever you want to do. But as I said, it's very simple to do. They're inexpensive, and hopefully you have a go at making some tomato puree tube art. <laughs> Thank you, bye-bye.